how to retain clients even when you are not producing results. What's up guys, my name is Jordan and in this video, I'm gonna share with you how I've been able to keep my client retention very, very high. And even though there are times where I wasn't able to deliver results, I wasn't able to give, you know, maybe not, we didn't have a profitable month for whatever reason, maybe it was my fault because, you know, our service, um, you know, we weren't delivering results good enough. Or number two, which is a very common reason, your client just wasn't able to close the leads that you were able to pr produce for them. Uh, making them not profitable and then all of a sudden the blame is on you and they don't want to work with you anymore, right? Because if they're not closing clients, that's on you as well. So you got to make sure that your clients are able to close leads that you bring them. But in case you are not able to bring a profitable month or for whatever reason your client tells you, hey, we want to stop the services, we don't want to work with you anymore, or you know, we no longer want to run a lead generation campaign, how do we keep those clients on board? Um, and you know, I've used this trick over and over and over again, and it has kept our client retention very, very high. So I'm going to dive in deeper right now on how I've been able to do that. Um, you know, and the reason why I had to do this was because throughout the year of 2019, I had to figure out how I was going to be able to um, keep clients because clients were signing on and then clients were signing off. Clients sign on, clients signing off. And that led for me to be, you know, I, you know, I, I'm just like, dude, I can't. I can't do this. I can't be, you know, making some money um, one month and the next month client drops off and we're back down to where we first started. So how do we keep clients on? Number one, you got to show your client that you care, right? If th that's all that matters because you are a person behind a computer, they're a person on the other end, wherever they're at in the world, they, they don't really know you, right? Unless you're working with someone local. Um, but this, and this trick is going to work for someone that you work with local as well. And I'll get to that in a bit, but you know, you just really want to show your client that you care about their success. Um, that's like the main thing. If you could show them that, hey, I care about your business, I'm going to help you, um, you know, grow your business no matter what, then, you know, they're going to want to continue to work with you because that just because number one, you care about their business. And because you care about their business, they're going to like you more and they're going to want to continue to work with you. So here's a tip that I that I've used to show my clients that I care. Along with my 30 day money back guarantee, right? So first and foremost, you know, the 30 money, 30 day money back guarantee is going to help clients, you know, relieve their concerns on, you know, what if I lose money working with this service? And not a lot of people are able to provide a 30 day money back guarantee just because, you know, maybe these marketing companies or companies in general businesses, they don't really believe in their service or product because if you really believe in your service or product, you should be able to provide some type of guarantee. So that's the closing part. If we can get them to close and hop on uh, as a client, then we have you know won half the battle. Now let's just say for during those thirty days, for whatever reason, results were not provided, and now they're asking for their money back, right? Um, you have you should honor it. You have to honor it, right? Because you do have a thirty day money back. But I give them this option. So let's say J John uh, reached out to me and asked for his money back. You know thirty with. Within the 30 days, didn't get results. He, he messages me and he wants his money back, right? Now I give him this option. I'm like, sure, John. You know, I you know I can honor the 30 day money back and I'll send you, I'll refund you, give you a full refund, or I can give you the next entire month, next month, the next 30 days free of charge, right? Because I, you know, I'm gonna I'm here to do whatever it takes to help you grow your business. So I say something along the lines of like that. So I'll say something like. Hey, John, I'll give you, you know, I understand that you want your money back. However, um, it looks like, you know, we did get you a good amount of leads here. And the issue seems to be, you know, the closing rate or maybe we figured something out in the landing page or how we target, targeted things in our campaign that we could adjust to improve our conversion rate. Um, we're we're going to be able to produce you better results because, you know, the first 30 days we were focusing on, on uh, building the campaign and optimizing it. But now that we have it down, you know, your next 30 days, you should be able to be profitable. And I'm here to do whatever I can to help you uh, be profitable. So I'm willing to waive our management fee um, in order for you to, you know, recoup what you have invested and then start profiting now that you know how this works. So the next 30 days, we're going to waive the management fee. 
and almost always they are so thankful for you know for you to waive their manage to waive your management fee because there's no businesses out there that's willing to do that you know they're willing you know most c- companies are like all right here you go here's your money back and then that's it right but you know because we are a human being and because we do care about their business um you know we waive our management fee and that shows them shows that our client that we genuinely care about you know actually growing their business and whatever we're trying to um provide for them right we actually care and if we waive our management fee that speaks a high volume because now they're in a position where you know wow this person is willing to do whatever it takes number one number two waive the management fee and work for free just to make sure that i'm successful and that and i've always gotten a positive response from that they're always thankful always grateful and more often times than not they're going to uh, accept your offer so the next 30 days you know you have you now have you now have another 30 days to produce awesome results for this client. You have to make sure, you know, what went wrong in the first month. Now you need to tweak all those things. Maybe it was a client not um, closing on the leads. Maybe we need to figure out what system he's doing on the follow-up, the closing, whatever it is, fix that part. And then you need to figure out, all right, how can I improve my campaign? How do I optimize campaign so that we could get more results, better results for this ca- for this client so that he can be profitable in the next 30 days and stay as a client. So the next in t- next 30 days, I waive my management fee. You know, I figure out what's good, what's wrong, what's working, what's not. And then we double down what's working, right? That's, that's always the system. And then 30 days, more often times than not, they always stay on as a client. And out of all the clients that I've had, um, you know, I've only done one money back guarantee. And I did offer him the, um, the next 30 days uh, waiving the management fee, but he said he already found another marketing company. So that's fine. You know, sometimes they're not going to accept your offer, but it's just a way for you to you know, get an extra 30 days and keep them on as a client because everyone who has accepted that offer is still a client today. They've stayed on as a client. So it's a very, very powerful t- uh, trick for you to use. I hope this, you know, this you're going to be able to use this in your own business. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much sim- it's as simple as that. If any time a client, you know, no longer wants to work with you, give them that offer. More often times than not, they're going to be very grateful for it. They're going to be very thankful and they're going to stay on as a client, stay on longer. And you're going to be put in a position where, you know, you, you're you getting brownie points with a client pretty much because you're showing that you care. Right. So hopefully this video was helpful. Let me know what you guys need help with in the comment section below. Um, give this channel a subscribe because you need to follow this journey. I'm constantly putting out two to three videos each week for you to grow your uh, agency. Until then, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.